Yeah, it's Sunday Fun Day, and today we're doing something fun with a classic video game. Hey everyone, do we have any Duke Nukem fans? Well, today we're going to over E Duke 32. Now, uh, E Duke 32 is kind of a source port of the engine for Duke Nukem 3D. Now, um, if you're running a arch based system, uh, it's available in the AUO. We'll get to that in a second. If you're not running an arch based system, you can go to the, the E Duke 32 website and download it. You hit download and it's right here, available as source. And it's not that hard to build it from source. I did it on my Debian system, it is just fine. It works just fine. Uh, you would just download this source code right here. Make sure it doesn't say Win64. That's it. Uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and open up my terminal here. And I will be doing a Trizen because it's in the AUO. If I can type properly again, dash S. And it's dash S S. We're going to do a search first. And we're going to do search edu. I know what it's called in the AUO, but we're just going to take a look at it anyway. As you can see, we got a few. We got. The Eduke 32 right here and the Eduke SVN right here. And you have the blood port, blood port based off of Eduke 32. We're not going to do anything with that. And Redneck Rampage and Duke Nukem 3D port based on Eduke 32. And of course, you have the Shareware episode right there in case you don't have a copy of the game, but we'll get to that. Um, but we're just going to do the eduke32 so we're just going to go ahead and modify this command to that oh. there we go uh... no we don't want to edit that no 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 Alright, now it's just going to build from source. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right here and we'll get it done. Now that we got this installed, it took about five, six minutes. Uh, it all depends on your processor count and the speed of your processor, how much memory, etc. It's going to vary system to system because it's building from source. But uh, as you can see, we have it installed right here. Edu32 would be in games right here. It's right here. Seems how we need a copy of the game. I got it in here somewhere. But look at these games. I'll have to review them at some point. As you can see, I got a legal copy of Duke 3D Complete Edition. Uh, you can also use uh, any Duke Nukem 3D files, including those of the shareware version, which is available on, on the eDuke32 website and the AUO. So keep that in mind if you don't have a copy of the game. But you have to have a copy of the game, like I've made clear. However, I've got that in the drive, so we're going to go ahead and cancel this. And we're going to go ahead and open up DOS Blast because it is a DOS game. Now I'm going to go mount D slash run slash media slash my username slash Alright, now that's mounted my CD drive so I'm going to go ahead and change to that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Do that, and I'm gonna run an install.exe. Uh, as you can see, there's more than just that. 
Uh, of course, I got like Rise of the Triad and you know, all this stuff, wacky wheels. But I'm focusing on Duke Nukem 3D today. I'll probably have to review all these games eventually, but and I'll have to do a review Duke Nukem 3D eventually. Uh, yep, and we're gonna press C and Duke 3D. That sounds good for me. And here we go with copying files. Uh, this is actually a really great engine. You can also run it inside DOS box as well, but we're focusing on eduke 32. I'm going to cut this off again while this copies files. Now that we've got that installed, uh, we have the game data, etc. So uh, we're going to go ahead and exit this, and I should be able to start this up in Duke 3D, in eduke 32. So. Here we go. Uh, required data, game data not found. It should be finding it. You must copy duke3d.gop to your game directory before continuing. Ooh. Uh, let's let's go. Let's try and figure this out real quick. Found no recognize. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. I'm gonna figure this out. Uh, I'm gonna leave this in because I don't know. It did it automatically on my other computer. So okay. Um, now I feel stupid. I'm leaving that uh, mess up in the video just to show you. I even mess up sometimes. That was kind of a blooper. But uh, if I would have just read it, I would have taken a look right here. It tells you it's either looking for it's looking for it right here or in your home folder. But in I would put it in your dot config folder. That way you don't accidentally do that. So what I did was I went to my dot config folder. That's hidden. So if you need to do that, need to see it in your uh, web in your not web browser, but your file browser. Or file manager, you need to uh, press Control H. It'll show the dot because dot hides your folder, and then go to eduke32, and then uh, go to wherever you install in on your folder. I install everything in DOS box right here in my home folder, Duke3D. And what you want is this Duke3D.gop, and you copy it to eduke32.config. And now it should work. Now, there are a couple things you can you can uh, go ahead and uh, adjust whether you want full screen or not. Open GL or software. I mean, if you really want to go retro, 640 by 480 software, but, but we're not going to do that. But uh, I love this engine because it makes it look really, really good. It uses different shaders. So let's go ahead. Let's start up Duke 3D here. It's been a while since I played, so I'm probably going to suck, but that's alright. Ooh, that looks a little distorted. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, I got it muted, but... You know what? Oops. Let's, let's turn that back. Let's turn that up. Because I want to hear it. There we go. Yeah. Here we go. Uh. Yeah. There we are. Yep, it's Duke Nukem 3D. There we go.
Alright. Whoops. And that was E Duke 32. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments below. If you like this video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Also, consider following me on my social media links below. And if you really, really liked it, check out these videos that are listed on your screen. Have a nice day, and thank you for watching The Penguin Revolution.